Hello friends, this video on factorization part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So these are the various methods which are available like the method of common factors, method of regrouping terms, factorization using identities and factors of the form x plus a into x plus b. So these are the four ways of factorizing an algebraic expression. So let's learn them one by one. So first we will learn type 1 that is method of common factors. So let us try to understand the method of common factors using an example. So here you have taken a very simple algebraic expression 12x plus 36. So what do we do? So our first step would be to write each term as a product of irreducible factors. Irreducible factors means factors which cannot be reduced further. For example, if it is x, y, it can be reduced further as x into y. But when it comes to x, x cannot be reduced further, right? So we have to write each term as a product of irreducible factors. So what are the terms in this expression? One term is 12x, the other term is 36. So let us first write 12x as irreducible factors. So 12x can be written as 12 into x. Now 12 can be further written as 2 into 2 into 3. That is how we do prime factorization. So this becomes, so 12x can be written as 2 into 2 into 3 into x. In a similar way, let us write 36. So 36, if you factorize it, you will get 2 into 2 into 3 into 3. So that is our step number 1. Step number 2 is apply distributive law. So basically, once you have factorized it, this can be written somewhat like this. So to, instead of 12x, you can write it as 2 into 2 into 3 into x plus 36 can be written as 2 into 2 into 3 into 3. So now we will try to apply distributive law. So do you remember distributive law? It says that a into b plus c is equal to a into b plus a into c. This is the distributive law. So how can we apply distributive law in this case? So if you look at it closely, this 2 into 2 into 3 is common for both the terms, right? So basically 2 into 2 into 3 is behaving like a. This x is behaving like b and 3 is behaving like c. So basically this equation is of the form of a into b plus a into c. So what is a into b plus a into c? This is equal to a into b plus c. So you can write it as a into b plus c. So this is what? So this can be written as 2 to the 4, 4 3 is a 12. So 12 into x plus 3. So this 12 into x plus 3 is the factor form of this expression. So if you look at this expression, this expression has how many terms? This expression has two terms. One is 12x, the other one is 36. But when you look at this, this expression has only one term. And what are the factors? 12 is one factor and x plus 3 is another factor. So this is the factor form of the expression. So in this fashion, we can factorize a given algebraic expression. So let us, so the step 3 is irreducible factors are obtained. Now let us try out few more examples of uh, method of common factor. So here you are given this 22y minus 33z. So here, how let's, so our step 1, step number 1 is to factorize both the terms. So the first term is 22y. This can be written as 2 into 11 into y. The second term is 33z. This can be written as 3 into 11 into z. Okay. So therefore, we can write 22y minus 33z as 2 into 11 into y minus 3 into 11 into z. So now if you look at these two, do you have anything in common? Yes, we have 11 in common. So 11 is common in both of these. So 11 is behaving like A. That is A into B plus A into C. So in this case, it is A into B minus A into C. So this can be written as A into B minus C. So B would be 2Y because here 2Y is left and this side it is 3Z. So here 3Z is left. So 11 into 2Y minus 3Z. So this is the factor form of the given expression. 
So let us try one more 14 PQ plus 35 PQR. So again step number one 14 PQ can be written as 2 into 7 into P into Q. 35 PQR can be written as 5 into 7 into P into Q into R. In step number 2, we can write 14 PQ plus 35 PQR as 2 into 7 into P into Q plus 5 into 7 into P into Q into R. So what is common in both these two? So 7 PQ is common in both of these. So therefore in step number 3, what do we do? We will apply the distributive law. So it is 7 into P into Q. So what is left inside? 2 plus 5 into R that is 2, 5, 2 plus 5 R. So the factor form of this expression would be 7 PQ into 2 plus 5 R. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.